What up, beautiful people? It's your boy Mundus, and welcome once again to the Shining Light, a place where you learn God's word and get guidance, direction for your life. And today we are we into a wonderful, beautiful devotional for the day. You know what I'm saying we got a special word for the day, and the title for today's devotional is "We Reign with with Him and in Him." And I'll be taking uh, our theme scripture from the book of Psalms, chapter one, ten, verse two. I'm going to read. It says, The Lord will send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. That's from Psalm 110 and verse 2. Let me read the first paragraph. It says, The Lord Jesus is the head of the church, which is his body. The head and the body are one, and they go by the same name, which is Christ. Having been baptized into the body of Christ through the new birth, you have become one with Christ. What and who he is, you become one with Christ. What and who he is, we also become, we, all, we, we have all become one. That's what he meant. Hallelujah. Um, just to explain that a little bit, you know, what I mean, I mean, today's rhapsody is more talking about reigning with Christ, and in and then this scripture, uh, this first paragraph talks about how we become joint. You know, the scripture says we are joint heirs with Christ. We are seated together with Christ in the seats of power, in the seats of authority. You know what I mean? So there's no separate. You can't separate like uh, like was, uh, the first part. Is, you cannot separate the the head from the body. If you did, that person would die. You know what I'm saying? Imagine cutting someone's head off. You know they'll they'll cease to live. So we live we live in Him. He lives in us. We have become one in all that He is. We have also become. I mean, this can be big for a lot of people to accept. You know, it's like, oh, what do you mean? Um, but that's why we learn the scriptures. You know, what I mean, this is something that we need to meditate on. This would be something that we need to um, to really uh, focus on, so we can understand. We have become one with Christ. You know, let me keep on reading further, so it will make more sense. Uh, no wonder the Bible says, "As He is, so are we in this world." That's from First John chapter four, verse seventeen. And in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 22 says, God has put all things under his feet and has put all things and has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things, to be the head over all things to the church. So if Jesus is the head of all, over all things, we are one with him. Then we also are head over all things. We reign in him and with him. The Bible says he must reign till he has put all the enemies underneath underneath his feet under his feet that's from first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 25 this this is this is not about him reigning in heaven but on earth and how does he reign on earth it's through us you know god has um has granted christ to be the head over all things for the church to the church so if the head is over the head of everything the body too is which is is, is the church is over the head of over everything you know you know a lot of people can um you know, sometimes depending on the country that you live in, on the nation that you live in, you know, they might pass some laws and and uh, decrees that might they might not be favorable. You know what I mean? You might be working in an environment where they they, they have these policies that that are just not right. You know what I mean? The policies that affect you in the wrong way, in a negative way. You know, policies that discriminate, policies that don't favor you. You know what I mean? People, men can pass laws that just disadvantage, and a lot of people will be like, "Oh, I could have." I could have got far in life if only things were fair, if only the rules were changed a little bit, or I could have done X, Y, Z, but in my workplace, they have this policy or they have these laws or they have this, you know, the bosses are just preventing me. They can't give me my promotion or they, 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 they got, there's a lot of red tape. I have to do this and this, you know what I mean? So a lot of people get frustrated, but if you're a Christian, you don't have to be frustrated. I mean, if I if I if I if I did not know before this, and I read Ephesians chapter one and verse twenty two, and he said he has put all things underneath his feet, and I'm I'm one with Christ. That means every law, no matter what government, no matter what country you live in, you could be, no matter how high the government, because even in government, all right, in in, in the country that you live in, people think, oh, if maybe I lived in a certain nation, you know, I would have made it far. You know, they could. You know, you could say if I lived in this country, the laws are much better. You know, what I mean, there's not a lot of dictatorship, or 
you know what i mean i can, I can go farther you know you don't need to do that but it doesn't matter though even in the best nations in the world you know they can't go through they go through um the senate or parliament no matter what country you live in and they have these laws and decrees that favor certain individuals you know what i'm saying they produce laws and 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 actions that have favor to the minority and the majority suffers so you might be wondering oh my god this is just so unfair yes life is unfair it is true it's so unfair but we are not of this world if you're a christian the Lord has put everything underneath his feet. It doesn't matter what laws they pass. It doesn't matter what decrees they have, they have issued. They're all under your feet. All you need to do is understand this. See, that's what God does. Um, in the book of Hosea, he says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know what I mean? If you didn't know, hey, all things are underneath. Uh, you, 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 Christ is the head and you're the church. And the Lord has put everything under, the God has put everything underneath his feet. And you're the body of Christ. So everything is underneath your feet. You will not know like, oh, it doesn't matter what government, what, what government, what nation you live in and, and whatever laws your government passed that they might not be right for you or they might be against you. Oh, you have to understand, according to the Bible, it says everything is underneath your feet. You are in charge. You are the king. What, what you say is what goes. You know what? Let me read it on further. I mean, the, the second chapter, the third chapter kind of addresses what I'm talking about. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, he says, And the government shall shall be upon his shoulder. Did you, did you see that? And say, he said, And the government shall be upon his, upon his shoulder. Notice that the government is upon his shoulder. That is his body, the church. Therefore, when the, the psalmist declared, The Lord will let your power reach out from Zion. You will rule over, over your enemies. That's from Psalm 110, verse 2. It is through the church, his body, that he reigns and rules. The government means the authority. It means the rulership. And he said the rulership is going to be upon his shoulders. Shoulders is the body. That means God expects you to rule and reign. Because he is, as far as God is concerned, everything is underneath your feet. And all he's waiting for is for you to enforce those decrees. Enforce those your rulership. It's just like even in normal life, right? Um, no matter what country you live in, they pass a law, right? They might, they might pass a law. Speeding is, you, you can't go more than 50, uh, 50 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, whatever laws they have. And if you go beyond that, uh, you know, speed, we might issue a ticket or you might, you might get a fine, whatever. So, yes, the law has been issued, but some people maybe break the law. They might go beyond 50 miles an hour, whatever, break the law. And guess what? The police might caught up with them and then they have to enforce that law. You say, hey, you've been caught speeding. According to the law, you're supposed to be doing 40 and you are doing 50 here. That means you're breaking the law. So we're here to enforce the law. Based on these facts, we're going to give you a fine or whatever the, whatever the penalty is for, for that. The, the, the police are going to make sure they enforce that. Or the courts, they might, they might, they might someone you to call, whatever, they will make sure they enforce that law. So in human terms, this is what happens. So how much more... God has said, this is according to God's laws and decrees. He said, everything is underneath your feet. That means if something is not lining up according to this decree, this law that's been issued, that's been issued from heaven that says everything should be underneath your feet, that means you need to enforce. There has to be an enforcement. You need to make sure, you need to insist on the word of God and make sure that everything lines up. So it doesn't matter what country you live in. It doesn't matter what laws or what, wherever you work at, whatever they have said that's against you and you're a child of God and you don't, it's, it's, you don't want that or you, it's, it's unfavorable to you, you understand, hey, I'm a child of God. So they have said they can't give me this pro promotions because of X, Y, Z and these laws are unfair. Because I'm a child of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you know, see, that's the authority too, right? The name, it says in the, at the name of Jesus, every knee, in heaven, even it even says every knee in heaven. Look how this authority stretches. It does not only stretch on earth. It says every knee in heaven, in earth, underneath the earth, in hell, everywhere. They have to bow to that name of Jesus. That's the authority that God has given to the church. So it doesn't matter what laws. It, you, you cannot be disadvantaged. It doesn't matter how many, oh, you say, oh, they have a wrong, we have a wrong senator, or we have a wrong uh, member of parliament. Oh, I wish we voted in for the right for the right person in office. Now everything is just gonna be unfavorable because we have the wrong person in office. It doesn't matter who is in office. He says the government shall be upon his shoulders, 
And he said, he, he must reign until he has put all his enemies un underneath his feet. You are reigning. You have to take your place as a child of God. Kings reigns. You know, that's what a king does. A, a king issues decrees. And the Bible says, where the word of a king is, there is power. Since you are reigning, you cannot, God cannot give you all this authority. And you complain and say, oh, I understand. We voted in the wrong person. Now everything is wrong. Everything is just going down. Now they're taxing us. Everything is wrong. And, and in the meantime, the, the, the scripture says, all things, he has given you all authority. That's an insult. That means you're not enforcing the law. I mean, in the real world, like we said, if you break the law, it has to be enforced. So in the, it, this is real life. God has said, has put everything underneath the feet. So that means every circumstance that's not lining up according to this decree from heaven that says everything should be underneath your feet has to be enforced. There has to be an enforcement. And you enforce that word with your, you enforce that with your words, with your declarations, with you insisting on the word and you walk, being conscious of this. That's why we, we're preaching it. Uh, that's why we talk, we, we having this devotion is because number one, you have to know about it. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like they say, ignorance of the law. <laughs> It's not a defense. So sometimes people break the law and say, oh, I didn't know that law. Yeah, it's not a defense. You need to know the law. So a lot of people know the laws of their country or the laws of wherever they work. But how, ma how many of you, how many people know the laws in the realm of this? How many people know the laws from the word of God that, that God has given to you as a Christian? The world is yours. Everything is underneath your feet. You have the name of Jesus. All right. So much to say. Let me keep on going on. We'll talk about this a little further. In the last paragraph, he says, as a member of the body of Christ, you rule and reign in his stead, in the stead of Christ. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 10, he says, he has made us kings and priests to reign on the earth. Take your place of dominion. Reign in the name of Jesus over circumstances. Refuse to be sick, to be broke or poor. Refuse to be a victim. Take charge and win every day. Reign and rule in life as a king you are. That's what kings do. Don't be, don't don't cow away. It doesn't matter what comes against you. You 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 just stand face to face with that challenge and say, I'm, I'm reigning in Christ. I have the authority. All things have been put underneath my feet. You know, Jesus said, I've given you authority over scorpions, over serpents, over all the power of the enemy. And to tread over scorpions and serpents, over all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall harm me or hurt you. You, you have nothing to worry about. It doesn't matter what's going on. He made a promise. He says, nothing will hurt you. Hold on to that word. Because God cannot lie. These are laws. God's law is more solid than any human being's law. I mean, people can, can stake their lives on the laws of the land. They'll be like, oh, according to chapter word, article word, this is the these are my rights, these are my laws, and 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 you can get recompense. How much more God's decrees, which are more he said, um, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not. God's word remains forever. It is, he has said it. He cannot change his mind. He said, all things are yours. He has put everything underneath your feet. He has given you the authority of the name of Jesus to reign over everything. Change what you don't want. Bring in what you want. Refuse to be sick. Insist on the word of God. Speak, speak to that sickness to go. You know, speak speak prosperity in your life bring in supply it doesn't matter if you what's going on at this you, you could be in a bad situation at this present moment it's only a matter of time now you know the word of god you put it to work every day so i'm reigning in christ i sit together with christ in the seats of authority and all things are under my feet so i declare prosperity in my life i refuse to be sick i declare healing and health in my body i rebuke that pain i rebuke that disease I, it might not go it doesn't matter but you're speaking the word and he has to obey you enforcing you know you can you you like that police officer that's enforcing the law so you're enforcing the, the the decrees of the sovereign god the god of all universe that created all the planets that made it all the, everything has said everything is underneath your feet trust him and insist on it. It doesn't matter how it looks like. It's only a matter of time. There will be a change. And the change happens instantly. Don't think it's, there's no change. When you say it's, it's instant. You know, I remember... Ooh, ooh, let me rush. You know what I'm saying? I want to take a lot of time. Um, I'm going to put a scripture. If you remember the scripture, there's a time Jesus was walking by and he saw this fig tree and he didn't have any fruits in the fig tree. He was hungry. Jesus was like, yeah, I want, I want to go grab some food. And... um. And this tree had no nothing. And Jesus was like, what? He was like, there ain't no food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jesus was funny, man. He was like, oh, he was so, like, you know when you're hungry and you're like, kind of like, oh, my God, you're moody. You're kind of like, oh, man. When you're hungry, 
you know, you could be kind of in a, ah, uh, you, you're not trying to be f- cute with nobody. So he was hungry. He's like, oh, let me grab some, f- grab some snacks. He goes to this tree. There ain't no, there's nothing. And he was like, what? There ain't nothing. He says, I cast you from today on. You will not leave. You will not produce fruit. This is the last day you, you're here. And he walked away. <laughs> you, know, you could have tell he was angry, man. That's like an angry response right there. That was not like, he was like, I'm hungry. I want to get something to eat. This tree ain't looking like he got fruit and there's no fruit. I was like, you don't have it. You, today is your last day on earth. And he cast the tree. Can you imagine what his disciples were thinking? Like, oh my God, man, dude must have lost his mind. He's talking to trees now. <laughs> you know? That's probably what it was like, okay, moving on. I guess this is what we're doing now. We're just, just talking to anybody. You know what I mean? We're just talking to trees. We're just talking to the wind. We're just talking to the sea. I mean, I guess this is what we're doing. And the Bible says they, rem- they recall what Jesus said and nobody said nothing. The next day when they came back, they were passing the same by. They saw that the tree had withered from the roots. And they were like, Master, the tree, this is the tree that you cursed. And if, if you read, I'll put the scriptures down. If you read that whole chapter, it will tell you, actually, that's a perfect way to show you how to exercise authority. It will show you how he said, he told him the process, what he did. He says, have faith in God. And, you know, whatsoever you can, you can say to anything, when you have the faith of God, you can say to anything. You can say to this mountain, remove him and go to the sea and it will obey you, you know. And he was showing them how to enforce your authority. You know what I'm saying? In everything, it doesn't matter. Everything has to line up to what you want. Jesus was hungry. There was no fruit. He was like, you, this is disrespectful. And he cast that fig tree. So, and it was instant. Just because they could not see the effect immediately, it didn't mean it didn't happen. It happened instantly. It's only a matter of time before the tree fell down. So it doesn't matter. You could be going through some crazy things and you're talking and you're saying all this. Like, oh, how come there's no change? There is a change. Just give it time. Relax. Just keep on speaking the word of God. Insist on the word of God and you will see a change. All right. I want us to take this confession together. Uh, repeat after me. Um, I take possession of all that belong to me in Christ. Enjoying my triumph life to the full. To the glory of his name. I take my place of dominion and reign in the name of Jesus over circumstances. I'm in charge and in control, winning every day. Blessed be God forevermore. All righty. That was a beautiful one. Um, If you want to get further studies into this topic, you can read this book. This is a beautiful portion of scripture. You can read 1 John 4, 4, Luke 10, 19, and Revelation chapter 5, verse 10. All righty. Until tomorrow, again, I want you to... Have a beautiful and blessed day. Put this to work. Go to work. Whatever situation that you might be facing, sickness, health, whatever it is, exercise your authority. Now you know. You know your law. You know the law. You know your rights. Put, put, fight for your rights. Put it to work. Use your words. Use the name of Jesus. Change circumstances. And uh, I want you to share a comment. Put your comment below. Tell me how you, what you're going to do. Show, tell me how this word has blessed you today. And, you know, share with everybody. I want us to have this community, you know what I mean, fellowship to, with the other believers. Um encourage each other motivate each other all right it's been beautiful it's your boy mundus until tomorrow morning keep keep winning have a successful and prosperous day peace out god bless you